because I really genuinely enjoy TikTok. I mean, even if I'm not making them, I'm creeping on yeah. other people's. You know, I get that it's not it's not always an artist's thing to do a TikTok. There's so many things you can do, and you don't just have to do a dance or right. I don't know, like do a cooking video. <laughs> hey, I'm Ellie Golding, and you're watching Billboard News. Hello, we are here with Billboard News and we have Miss Ellie Golding here with us today. Hi. Well, where should we begin? Maybe we with start? your new song? Yeah. Easy Lover? Yeah. Easy Lover, I'll keep it cool. Tell me about that. How did that come together? I wrote Easy Lover about five years ago wow. in LA. I was with Greg Kirsten, one of my favorite producers of all time, and Julia Michaels, who is a great songwriter. And I think one of us was dealing with, I don't know, boy at the time, sorry, can I swear? <laughs> but we ended up with a song about uh, going back to the same person who's who's hurt you and still you think you can change them. We always think we can change someone and we can't. And I feel like the music that I hear from you, even with Easy Lover, like I said, like it's sort of a more somber topic because like it's a sort of toxic love, but it sounds sort of happy. I can't help but write about situations that we all go through. I love the idea that someone can listen to one of my songs and feel like they're getting some kind of advice or some help. I like to help people. But at the same time, you know, I grew up on house music and dance music and pop music and, and so, um, if I can do both somehow, then I, I often do. Yeah. Uh, that's just kind of, I don't know, my thing I like to do. Beautiful lies on a Friday night Starting to wonder where we lost the magic I am curious, as, as a fellow Detroiter, I want to know how this Big Sean feature came together. <laughs> well, we've kind of stayed in touch um, for, for years because he sampled, uh, you he sampled, a sampled me a couple ago, of times. Right? Need a new crib so big I'm talking town size. Sipping something cold, smoking weed by the pound size. I always feel like there's something pretty special in someone appreciating me that early on as an artist. And so I've stayed in touch with anyone around that era and um, to, in particular him because I just think he's just been a consistently brilliant artist. You know, at some point we're going to do a collab and it just happens to be this song. So, And also I, I like to do things that people wouldn't really expect and I'll always do that. You know, I think there are some collaboration that people might expect me to do, but I won't ever do that. I'll always make sure that it surprises people. The music video <laughs> was so cool. And I know they say that everything that's easy ain't worth it and everything that's worth it ain't gonna be easy if I didn't need you. There is going to be a kind of connection between every song on the album and the video, so um, watch this space. Speaking of the album, what can you share with us about what you have in the works with cooking? Well, the album's done, uh, I think. <laughs> Although, like, I'm sure it'll get to like the release date, beginning of next year, and I'll be like, no, I want <laughs> there's more songs to write. But I have a couple more songs coming out this year. Um, the next one I'm really excited about. When did you It's one of those songs that maybe isn't like a radio song, but just something I think people will enjoy. And I'm curious to know like what your thoughts are on sort of the landscape of pop nowadays. Just when I think that pop is going into sort of a weird direction, because I mean, I'm a real pop enthusiast. I, I love working with like the Max Martin guys. I love working with pop writers because I find the art of pop like truly fascinating. I Just when I think that it's all going a bit wrong, then like Beyonce brings out her album. I'm the girl. Beyonce's album. Do you have any favorites from that project? I mean, to be honest, I'm still like trying to pull it apart. Yeah. Like it's this, it's just like. Especially like being like such a house music fan that you know, growing up in the UK, that's all we listen to house music. And my proudest moment of my life is her. We all crossed paths in the corridor, and she said, "I love your music." And I was like, no way. I would have been like retired. Yeah, I know. I may as well have retired, honestly. <laughs> I didn't, but like I should have. That's all I needed in life. That's all I needed. Well, Ellie, thank you so much. This is Thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure. Yes. Thank you. Let It Die is out now, and Ellie's new album, Higher Than Heaven, is out February 3rd. Maybe I'm playing for the ones I've heard, but I've been changing the love I'm giving.